let's see today what we have in store and it is interpersonal skills well we have been knowing this particular skill for quite some time and we have been thinking upon as to what interpersonal skills are but let me tell you that you will get a surprise because interpersonal skills is a collection of cumulative skills which comes under this and it's great to learn at all point of time but it's strongly associated with emotional intelligence interpersonal skills in a professional context refers to how we interact with others as we make the transition into the world of work interpersonal skills become increasingly important Lots of soft skills could be defined as interpersonal all used to varying degrees in the workplace depending on where you work and your level of responsibility Employers often seek out those candidates who have strong interpersonal skills they actively look for applicants who can work collaboratively communicate effectively and have positive relationships with customers and coworkers So why are interpersonal skills important without interpersonal skills everyday business would be very difficult since almost all aspects of work involve communication many jobs also involve collaboration and interaction with different types of people and interpersonal skills are vital to make this happen even if you have a very technical job such as an IT role you will need to interact with colleagues or clients regularly often imparting complicated information or having to listen carefully to requirements having excellent technical capabilities on your resume won't necessarily be enough to get you the job during a job interview recruiters will look to see how the candidate's interpersonal skills fit in with those required in the current working environment they will often base their decision to recruit on whether the candidate possesses the right interpersonal skills to succeed within the business so what are interpersonal skills interacting with other people is something that we do on a daily basis in the workplace these interactions will involve colleagues we are friendly with in addition to those whom we manage or managed by and people we do not meet on a daily basis we need to interact and get along with these others and training in interpersonal skills can make dealing with interactions easier by learning techniques and methods for working with and dealing with other people life at work and outside of work can be less stressful and more enjoyable interpersonal skills for managers as a manager understanding how to lead your team in respect of working with each other is a key skill that you will really want to master understanding for example the solutions for dealing with and also preempting conflict management issues is worth considering examples of good interpersonal skills learn how to listen learning how to be an effective listener is potentially an easy skill yet so many of us struggle to avoid the distraction that can otherwise stop us from giving a full attention to the person we are listening to the sound of a message coming through on your mobile phone your habit of prioritizing wanting to ask a question rather than listening to what has already been said there are numerous ways in which we can learn to become better active listeners learning to be more empathetic showing empathy when dealing with others and at least trying to see their point of view and situation without prejudging can help you avoid many of the problems that can occur in interpersonal situations emotional intelligence training is a great course for learning how to deal with situations with greater empathy assertiveness assertiveness means to be able to stand your ground and defend your rights without being aggressive a lack of assertiveness can cause frustration due to bottle of feelings or confrontations that escalate if a problem is tackled in an aggressive way an assertive person is not afraid to confront a problem directly but without making the other person feel on the defensive thus assertiveness is a very good skill to have for negotiating effectively in business for dealing with customers and for creating a supportive and cooperative environment in the workplace so what are the 10 key interpersonal skills 
self confidence the right level of self confidence in the workplace can open doors and help you to gain recognition it can also demonstrate how you approach various situations and deal with them both positively and effectively to be successful it is important to demonstrate self confidence at every stage of your career whether you are a graduate looking for an entry position or a more experienced member of the team hoping to secure promotion self confidence at work will improve the way people see you and your views ideas and opinions will be taken more seriously confidence will help you when communicating with others as it ensures that you can convey your point clearly and will be listened to number 2 work ethics having a strong work ethic is viewed favorably by many recruiters but what exactly does work ethic relate to well it can be split into three distinct strands professionalism this incorporates everything from how you present yourself through to your appearance and how you treat others second is respect all workplaces require you to work under pressure at some time or another and exercising grace under stress will earn you more recognition no matter how short the deadline or how heated things may get always retain your diplomacy and poise dependability employers need to know they have employees they can count on if you are always on time well prepared and deliver work when you say you will this demonstrates your work ethic and commitment to the business number 3 relationship management Building effective relationship is one thing but managing them is something entirely different. This is an important skill in many roles from junior post through to management. At every level in a business you will be expected to engage with colleagues, partners and clients. The ability to manage relationships based on respect for each other and mutual trust is very important within any business environment number 4 receptiveness to feedback being open to feedback can help you develop both personally and professionally view all feedback as a chance to learn and never react defensively this can take some practice especially if the feedback is negative but always take a deep breath and focus on how you can improve to take on board feedback you must first listen to it don't think about your response just listen to what is being said take on board what you have been told and use this positively to further enhance your performance and productivity number 5 body language non verbal communication is often overlooked but don't forget to consider how your body language and gestures could be interpreted factors to consider when interacting with others include eye contact facial expressions gestures personal space posture and body position your body language will often determine how your verbal communication your words are perceived in fact your body language will impact your communication skills more than any other factor number 6 listening when improving your interpersonal communication skills the first thing you need to learn is to listen failure to listening properly can have disastrous consequences from failing to follow through on a manager's instruction to not completing a customer's request active listening is a skill that will help you understanding and learn from others and respond correctly to what they are telling you giving non verbal signals that you are actively listening such as nodding or maintaining eye contact will also build trust as the people you are collaborating with will feel heard
Number seven, collaboration. Working collaboratively allows teams to work productively and deliver positive outcomes for clients and business. Successful collaboration requires the ability to cooperate and respect each other. Employers often seek applicants who have a proven track record working successfully within a team and candidates who are willing to compromise and cooperate to deliver exceptional work. Being able to collaborate particularly in challenging situations is a great selling point when applying for a job. Present yourself with a positive attitude and communicate your enthusiasm for team working and team building. Number 8 Conflict Management A key interpersonal skill for those working in teams is conflict management, especially for those looking at leadership roles. Conflict in the workplace can reduce productivity and cause negativity. Good conflict management skills include diplomacy, empathy, negotiation, assertiveness and compromise. Being able to put your views across or defend the views of others in a professional and respectful way is a key skill in the workplace. Number ninth, positive attitude. Showing positivity even in difficult situations is important. Be positive from the moment you fill out the application form or write a cover letter through to the interview, your first day at work and beyond. It's a habit, so you need to develop and it comes over a period of time. Never say anything negative about your current or past employer, even if you feel strongly about it. Employees with a positive attitude are more likely to treat others positively, which creates a more harmonious working environment. Number 10, workplace etiquette. How you come across to others can speak volumes. Learning workplace etiquette is a great way to leave a lasting impression on those you meet. Check your posture. Ensure that you stand straight and make eye contact. Turn towards people when they are speaking and smile genuinely at them. Follow the dress code of the company and make sure that your accessories such as ties, bags and jewelry are suitable for the workplace. Also ensure that you demonstrate kindness and courtesy and arrive in good time every morning. So which job requires interpersonal skills? Almost all that exist under this shelter, this universe. If you feel you have strong relationship building capabilities combined with effective collaborative skills, there are certain roles that you will be well suited to. Careers that require client management would be an ideal choice. That said, being able to remember the finer details, having the self-confidence to market yourself properly and respecting workplace etiquette are skills that are valued in many roles, including customer service. Interpersonal skills are particularly important in customer facing roles. You will be expected to interact with others daily often in a problem solving roles. Communicating clearly and active listening are key customer service skills, whether you are speaking with customers in person or through telephone. Empathy, emotional intelligence and positivity will also help you engage with customers who need help or are unhappy with the product or services. Property or real estate. When working in property or real estate, you must be able to build relationships with clients and partners and be receptive to the requirements of both buyers and sellers. As buying and selling property is a major financial decision, an estate agent or consultant will need strong negotiation skills and communicative abilities to close sales and find the best price for the seller. Medical professional. Although education and the level of skill required to become a qualified medical professional are most important, interpersonal skills feature strongly in the skill set of a doctor, nurse or consultants. They must be able to communicate and use non-verbal communication to offer reassurance and put patients at ease. Medical professionals must also be able to discuss sensitive issues with their patients and bedside 
manner is very important financial planner or a broker a broker helps its clients to secure the best deal on a range of products from mortgages to insurance financial product knowledge is key but communication skills are also high on the list of priorities as well as working with clients brokers also need to develop strong relationships with partners such as banks lenders and estate agents financial planners will assist their clients in areas such as investments insurance and planning for retirement so they must be able to establish a certain degree of trust listening is crucial so that they can understand clients requirements and then recommend suitable products and services my god sales relationship management is a key element of many sales roles done well it can lead to new and repeat business from recommendations or referred customers sales professionals must also be confident when making cold calls and need to use strong negotiation and listening skills to find out the requirements of the client before offering suitable products or services how to emphasize your interpersonal skills in your resume now that you understand what interpersonal skills are and the industries in which they are most useful you should be able to identify which you possess the most once you have be sure to emphasize them in your application documents and then if successful at the interview level as well here are a few tips to help you emphasize the right interpersonal skills in your job application when drafting your resume look carefully at the job description and profile to see if any specific interpersonal skills are mentioned see if these match the interpersonal skills you feel you can demonstrate the best and highlight them in your application any skills you mention must be relevant to the role you are applying for start your resume with a clear and concise skills section that describes your main attributes this should be followed by a strong career history section Again incorporating your interpersonal skills via your professional experience academic studies and voluntary work back up every interpersonal skills you mention with evidence examples these skills can feel intangible so the recruiter will need to see evidence of when you demonstrated them and achieved the positive results in your cover letter you can expand this further by explaining how you use these skills and the impact that had on the business perhaps your strong communication skills secured a sale or your successful relationship management resulted in excellent customer feedback if you are invited to an interview as well as talking about key interpersonal skills and how you have used them in previous employment ensure you demonstrate them too elements such as workplace etiquette professionalism and self confidence all come into play here can i learn interpersonal skills what a good question interpersonal skills are so vital for both work and personal relationships that they are worth developing remember everything that you have learned when interacting with people over your lifetime will have given you a good foundation but there's always room to improve here are some tips to help decide which areas you need to improve maybe you are aware of certain areas that you are weak in or there are specific requirements for a job you are applying for it isn't always easy to self analyze so don't be afraid to ask those who are close to you for their feedback learn from feedback consider the relationship you have with your colleagues are there ever any conflicts have you ever had any feedback from your boss on your interpersonal skills that you could review thinking about the feedback you have been given either directly or indirectly will help you develop look for online training once you have identified the areas you need to improve look for some online courses that will help you learn certain interpersonal and social skills that would be useful in the workplace try searching on coursera or open learn there are also many books and articles on this topic you could review 
develop your emotional intelligence interpersonal skills rely on reading others correctly and having empathy good emotional intelligence will help you accept others differences and understand their point of view practice communicating and listening if you are normally reserved at work try to put yourself out there and practice your newly learned communication skills this will give you the confidence to keep improving so here's wishing you all best best luck thank you